Hey guys, it's Dodger 455 coming to you from the Dodger Garage, of course. Um, I've just been, uh, we've been hunting quarter boxes. We haven't found any new quarters yet. So we're just, we're just buying quarter boxes and going through them. Finding some very interesting things um, in these quarter boxes. Um, got a dye variety here for this uh, Saratoga coin. It's cool. It's got a dye chip uh, right by his hand. Um, let's see, this is, uh, oh, that's a, that's a In God We Rust. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll try to get in uh, where the the T is barely visible. Um, that's on the uh, Kansas quarter. Uh, this is also a double dad. It's Fort McHenry 2003. It's impossible to see with the uh, phone. I found plenty of these Alaskan state quarters with the extra claw. Uh, nice bicentennial. And this Guam territorial quarter 2009 you never find them that nice i mean this thing i found this in a roll of quarters it's beautiful uh let's see and just some really really nice state quarters now some of these are 20 years old um you don't see state quarters that nice in circulation i mean you just don't now right now you know a lot of people collected these a lot of people save those they are pretty common uh, these are all, you know, mint state coins. I mean, they're very nice. I only keep them if they're really, really nice. Uh, so many years from now, somebody will appreciate that you put that quarter up. And if you get tired of it, go spend it. It's still worth a quarter, and that's all it costs you. Uh, but 20 years from now, it might be worth quite a bit of money. Uh, they're really nice. I'm, uh, if it's old, I'm keeping it. If you don't like it, don't keep it. But it's all about not really monetary value. Uh, it's about pneumatic value. If you like it, if you like the coin, keep it. It doesn't matter what everybody else says. Um, these coins are there for you to enjoy, um, and they're something that you should put up. Somebody will thank you one day. If you go to a coin show and you see a nice 1957 Washington Quarter that was pretty common, but somebody put it up at the time because it was nice, and now it's nice, all these years later, it's, it's got some value to it. And you're like, man, I'm glad someone put that up because I need that for my book. And it's going to look nice in there. But enough about that. Let's move on. We had a Canadian quarter. I've got this proof, another proof that I found. And this is a Guam. It's a territorial quarter. You don't see these very often. Um, they're hard to come by, especially a proof. That's my first silver quarter that I found in a roll. It's 1964. And uh, it's it's not in bad shape. Uh, actually, I think I need this for my book, believe it or not. I have proof sets and um, other things, but I don't have one that's been circulating. I mean, it'll fit nicely in my book. And I got another box to go through uh, tonight, and we're just going to keep going through them. I'm surprised at how much stuff I'm finding, how I many dye varieties and other things. Uh, so I'm actually having a good time. I wish we had some new quarters to look at, but we just don't have any right now. If you did like this video, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notifications. Remember, search continues. Thanks for watching.